Are you empowered? I believe so. Don't let anyone else say you're not. Okay? <laughs> I'm Mylene Elke, speaking to you at this moment from wonderful, sunny Germany. It's fall right here. The leaves are changing, beautiful, beautiful colors. And inspiring, really, to live nature. Our facets, all of them, and together. And together we're coming right here to the summit, right? Empowered women supporting each other. I'm going to play on this topic because I love the title of the summit and add a little bit to it to bring you to shine out your uniqueness and your wisdom, your light in any moment. Step into the light and shine speaking. Take a breath. You're doing it already all the time. And I'm here now at the moment to support you and to bring it out more with ease and lightness. And I invite you to come on a journey now with me. I'm more and less, most of the time, in the moment. <laughs> Wisdom comes. Yours, mine, the one of the universe, star nations, societies that have lived here before. And also songs and tones, sounds, sacred ones, to support our conversation to support you in remembering and in embodying, creating really an experience in the time we're here now together. In this conversation, I'll, I'll hit on the topic and I know there's the second conversation, it's much longer, I can go into more and more detail but this is already enough to ignite you, <laughs> to move forward, to accelerate you. That's what I believe. So thank you, thank you for being here and playing with me. So empowered, I started with that word. You are empowered. And I'm empowered by myself and by others. And I invite you even to be more fully you. To empower, to turn on all the facets, the multitude that is in you. And to stand like this, to sit like this, fully and be being aware of it, being secure and truly understand who you are and why you're here. So one thing you know, you hear as a beautiful woman. It's hard for some of you to hear that word beauty, but look at it a little different. Look at it as, as an all encumbrancing word, a woman with compassion, a woman with love, caring, with the light that radiates out of you. That is here for others. That loves her body. 
all parts. <laughs> Your form, our breasts, it's important. I invite you right at this moment, if it's a little crazy, Mylene, do to touch your body on a regular basis and feel who you are. Yeah? To have another understanding or a new understanding. And that your body is here so you can better express the principles you're bringing to all of us. In beauty, you know, it, it, uh, it comes so deeply out of you. And others see it and it's so beautiful at this time. I, I, I noticed the young generation. They don't look at anymore at what I was taught with all the magazines and right. They look at each other. They use their eyes to see the person in front of them. How they are and what is magnificent about them. It's so inspiring. And I'm going to stay on that vibe. I believe in our young generation. I'm maybe of an optimist, but I think there is really much more to it. And on this summit here, it's so fun, right? We come together from all around the world, women, with different ethnic backgrounds, cultural social settings, um, ages, even genders. Right? Everyone who chose to be a woman. And we're here to support each other. That's why you're here. To, one, feel embraced. Yeah? A place where you can fall back a little bit, feel held where you get inspiration, have a creative exchange, and uh, feel uplifted. Or maybe you're here to, to bend down to lift someone up and throw them above you. It's a gathering. And it's not just you and me and everyone else, but then we have all these other beings that here as well. And when you leave this summit, do know that you're always supported. We have so many beautiful um, beings that support us from animals, for me especially cats, birds. <laughs> when I think something, and sometimes I think, oh, my, I should have not. Is that right? Am I thinking the right thing? Should I really act on that? And the birds are here to say yes, and they chirp. Cats provide me with love, they push me forward. When I get to a plateau, always has there been a cat to move me forward all my life. Who's there for you? Maybe there are plants, trees where you can lean on to connect, uh, or you sit in the sun. You go for a walk to feel connected to everything. Or maybe you just gaze into this beautiful world and feel filled again, nourished. So use, ask, provide. Be totally you here. Open up and show yourself. So step into the light. And before I go there, I said, mm, there's a song to 
celebrate the coming together of us empowered women. Okay? Sit back and relax. Listen to the sound bath of supporting you. Sing with me, la 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 Ah, oh, wonderful. Thanks for joining in and singing. <laughs> so stepping into the light, taking action. But see how much easier it is when we are ready in the swing of things and moving forward. That is the support I'm speaking about. And do ask for it when you need it. Someone maybe sings for you, brings up the vibration. You can bring up the uh, vibration as well. So become aware where you are, how you're feeling. Where are you in your body? Where are you on this beautiful planet? And do you feel comfortable there or not? Do you desire to change it? Give it a little spice to it. No herb into the soup to have a little twist. It's a little different. Or is it a bigger one? Bigger change. It needs maybe a little bit more preparation. Doesn't matter, similar steps, I believe, are important to be taken. To take the time, and I don't know how like you to do it to uh, Maybe you love to write, to lie down and just think, to go into meditation, to go into a drumming ritual, or I just love to sit in, in the sun. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I would do it in the mornings, you know, between about 10 and 1. That's my perfect time because then the sun shines and a little later it will come through this window. That's when I can write and relax into myself and be comfortable or plan, or just doze off. And in the summer, I sit out in the sun. Sit. I don't even like uh, mind if I get hot. Sometimes I go for a walk. So what is it for you? Hmm? Um, you like to write? 
paint, speak it out and record it, or have a conversation with a friend or a group of people to get stimuli, to notice where you are, ask questions to others. How do they see you at this moment? Have they seen you differently? Do they remember you speaking about things, visions that you do not speak about now anymore? We have a flag that's flying around, <laughs> giving us this woof, energy. <laughs> so what's your vision then? Do you notice where you are in the moment? What of what you want to change? You make a decision, right? You set an intention how you want it to be, how you desire it to play out, where you see yourself in a few years, tomorrow, in the next moment. And it could be that you just let it flow, not too many things, or maybe even more precise. So set that clear and send it out and let it unfold. And take some action. So sometimes action is just to raise up on a regular impulses your your vibration. When you ever need, you know, down, give yourself more the opportunity to step out to get under people if you need that, if you desire that. If it is more internal, you create your spaces in your home. Right, that you feel comfortable because your house is your medicine. If maybe paintings or certain fabrics, certain colors, maybe you need it very cleaned, your house, or um, you don't mind, you're more the creative messy. It doesn't matter. Messy is the wrong word because there is no mess because everyone acts differently. Right, but what is right for you, and 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 to follow that, and also importantly, I think is to let people know how you function. Mm -hmm. To let people know where you desire to go. To dream aloud. so that they can help as much as you love to help others too. <laughs> so when your vision is going to be pulling you, what kind of vision is it? What is it? What is your way to express yourself? What is your style? Yeah. Are you someone who is more um, introverted? You're more in the background, you're more a guide. Mm, you love to write poetry or maybe a screenwriter. Or are you someone who goes more out into the world? You're on stages, you are a, a, a networker, you are giving workshops or CEO in a company, you know, leading, you're pooling, you love to use your energy to pool people, or are you more someone who, who sends it off? Yeah? And maybe you're a mix, sometimes like this, sometimes like that, or you're in between, maybe you're more a person who loves to do interviews, um, you know that like a TV show is more this way, where you invite sometimes when you feel right and you record, you send it out, you're seen, but then you have time all by yourself, right? S see if that's for you. So if you're also more in the background, but you still want to go out, so radio, podcast, right? Is this something um, for you? So take your time, maybe an artist you paint, you have the time where you're very introvert, 
you paint at home and you, then you go out into the world and show it. Yeah, or maybe you cook or you're gardening and you do beautifully uh, flower bouquets. Or anyone on the road, like I was long years a landscape architect, and that's why nature is so important for me. You have the time where you design at home or in your office. You go out, look at sites, then I'm in nature, and then there are meetings or collaboration and teamwork and with other professions. Networking when you really got so see there is an and hands on right because you dig sometimes and you help build things or even building models. Yeah, what are, are your interests and are they all being filled, fulfilled? Are you can are you having fun? Can you implement all the things you love to do? I think that is really important and. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into that to be a quick song to, to be more you, to get clarity on what it is. And also courageousness on acting on your own wisdom, on your own abilities. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Go out. Pull it out of you and go out and, and play. And sometimes it is more that you don't implement it directly in your profession. So play and practice a little things at home for yourself. Maybe. Um, you know, use it when you cook or even if you clean your home. Sometimes I go down steps to go to the wash machine and the uh, tones come and I sing. At the beginning, when I was a little bit more afraid to bring my songs in front of people, I sang in the shower. I would go into the woods where no one would hear me. Then I started speaking and singing to uh, friends that I know well. And then to people I didn't know so well. So I, I built it up slowly. But in a way also I had first the vision to, um, okay, I always had the vision to, to share my idea of bringing out <laughs> your beauty. So you can relax into yourself to become peaceful in yourself. So you can see the beauty in others. Respect it and acknowledge it and play with it. And then how it is easy to see it in our planet, in our earth. And then create more magic all together. Right, so I started that. I'm gonna use the radio show for a moment, right? I have the sacred sound surprise show because I never knew what tones come out of my, my mouth. But um, so I knew I wanted to do that. I started with a teleconference at that time and a um, few people and a few mail, as I said, then I would do it first in German, then in English, invited people I didn't know. And then even for radio show, I had ideas what to do. And I, I went and, and tested places, so I asked. But then I learned, oh, advertisement. I, I would have every 12 minutes to stop and do an advertisement. I said, ah, I cannot do that if I'm a, in the middle of a 
meditation or a song or in a certain energy, I don't want to stop. Then I didn't want to censor myself. I wanted to bring out the words and talk about the topics I want. And I never knew what would be coming out again, what I would be voicing. And then one day suddenly it was there. I saw an email and I could act on it, you know, take it and say, oof, yes, that's exactly as I called. I said, is this and this? Can I speak? Do I have to censor myself? Can I do a little advertisement? If yes, at the end, I said, oh, lovely. Then I can really go on a roll. Oh, important was to invite people live and to answer questions and give a little energy healing. You know, I wanted to, you know, combine it. And then later things like Blab came and then Zoom and, you know, now Zoom is huge. Um, where I could do that too and Facebook Live. So you see, we can develop as the uh, utensils change. But the vision has been always there. To be at stage, to be in front of people. And at that time, my son was small, so traveling was, I didn't choose to, I didn't want to travel so much. It's precious time to be with your child, for me, right? But I could send out my healing from home. And what the fun part is, I did it in unison with my son. He was at that time eight, and I asked him if it's okay, because he would have to go you know, to bed a little earlier and be quiet for that one hour. And he said, yes. And this is also something, as you speak about your dreams and invite others to partay in it, you feel much more comfortable and um, lighter in doing it. And that talks right about the light, right? And there is no waste or no weight, um, the weight of, of you know, like um, the feather, you're so light. Uh, there's no extra usage of energy. You don't lose energy. And it's so important to notice where do you lose energy, I believe. Um, yeah? Are you feeling, uh, and that's a, a good test. If something is right for you, if you feel awkward, see how is your body uh, in the moment. Are you pulling together or are you expanding? If you're pulling together and you're tight, is it quick because you're afraid for a moment? Or is it... Um, because it's not the right thing or not the right time. Hmm? So that's always a beautiful way of measuring. Um, you should feel light, whatever you want to desire, what you want to do, what you desire to do. Sometimes maybe you're a little scared, but then there's a, it's a different lightness and, and you'll, you'll get the hang of it and, 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 and sense that. Because you want to move your body forward. You want to move with unending wind. You, you want to create unending momentum, right? So that's best when there is um, not so much density within you and in your surrounding. That's why it's important. We, I spoke about create an environment where you feel comfortable. Live in an environment where you feel comfortable or a country or a climate zone. Yeah, so I love to have green around me even if i would be at the ocean it's more of a green needs to be there with blue and interplay so take the time to figure that out and then the the, the light right your light that goes out of you those rays uh, move up on a regular basis your vibration take a moment can be a second you can do it for an hour a few minutes, even longer if you desire, noticing that you, you go up with your energy and you play, because also in the whole higher energy centers, it's easier to set intention, yeah. And things don't phase you so much anymore. You're more peaceful inside because you're drawing always from the source, your source, the information that is fit for you, that is right for you and for the others in surrounding you. 
Yeah, what you're bringing out in, in, into the world. And it is very clear for others to understand it then, because you are speaking your truth. It's very clear. Take the time to connect to yourself. Right? Getting the energies, light, but also the light from the earth. And bring it together. Send it out into the world. <laughs> Your brilliancy. beauty. <laughs> Shine out. Don't hold back. Don't cover it up. Pull it aside. Take a deep breath. Play with it. <laughs> When you play, there's an automatic uh, glow to yourself. Now this energy, your truth, just it comes out of each single pore, out of your hair. And people see it, they feel it, they feel comfortable. Even if you're on stage, it comes with love from your heart. from your fullness, from your connectiveness, from your unique mod podge, because you put it together, boof, and send it out. Very clear and crisp, or very soft and light, in whatever style, in the moment, whatever is desired, needed, I even say there. Bring it out. And you know your body, you, when you feel comfortable in your body, when you, you don't cover up yourself with clothing, so people look on your clothing and not your, yourself, your beautiful skin, your beautiful hair. And that's an interesting one, right? We shine then more. If, uh, if you have your natural hair color, and it changes with age, right? I was really, really blonde when I was a little girl. Now it's more dark blonde. Now slowly some gray is coming in. It also means the skin tones change over time. And are you, and then this gives a gl an automatic glow to you. Feel into it if that's the way for you to go, to be very natural. Rest it, get enough sleep, feed yourself, nourish yourself well. 
what your body needs, not someone else's body, to take the time to figure that out. Hydrated, you know, all these things. Fit once so your body can hold the vibration that you're bringing through into the world. Look at the light, the spark <laughs> behind, coming down through the window. It sunshines, the rays shining. <laughs> it's like your rays. People just want to feel the true you, the authentic you. When you're peaceful, again, they feel it. And if you're a singer, for example, you know, you, you, the audience will be moved. Actor. Your tone comes out of your voice different, uh, out of your body differently. The, the voice is different. There's a different vibration, different ring. Yeah, because your body is not tight then. It's re totally relaxed. Goes out differently. You stand there. They see your presence. Your shoulders are down. Your chin is forward. Your eyes are gazing, interlocking with other eyes. Quickest exchange, right? So shine your beauty, your brilliance into the world. <laughs> And we started on the voice, the speaking. Speak your truth, your style. So sometimes I speak in German, I have so many different dialects in a way because I lived in different uh, areas in, 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 in Europe, even in Germany. Then my mother comes from you know, the ring and I pick those up. Instead of speaking always a high German, I've moved my body where, what's, you know, what is your way? Or do you censor yourself and change it? So I invite you to leave the censoring aside. Bye bye. <laughs> and then teach people how you function and why you're speaking this way. So invite them too, that they understand you, to learn more about you. Yeah, to invite them. Are you a very quiet speaker? A very loud, big motions and movements? Yeah? Implement that in where you stand on, on what stage. And stage can be, uh, you know, a huge platform with 10,000 people, but a stage is also a business room. It's also an, a one-on-one. -on -one. Do your style. I invite people to come over. The first thing we have coffee and tea. So you can relax. And maybe then a little dance. Whatever, dancing or painting, whatever comes. So the creativity spurs out of you. And that pulls other people along. It's like they cannot not listen to you. Because in a way, uh, we, they synchronize to you. If you speak the truth, if you are your truth, if you are expressing your wisdom, if you're sovereign in your body language, what you speak, how you treat others, they will check it in seconds. So where are the places you do it? You know, maybe you're cooking for people. I spoke about that a little bit before. Um, is it art? So many ways. Playing an instrument. Painting. Make sure you, you express all of your talents again. And in your style. So... My style of speaking, <laughs> I paint, so I speak through symbols or energy waves. Yeah, and I don't do it on rigor whenever my body moves me. So I have some shows or I show my paintings at home when people come to me. Radio, right? Podcasts, um, interviews, 
but I also like to go out on stage and give workshop because then I can touch people and embrace them. I love to hug people. But I also love the interaction virtually. I've met so many people, fascinating, creative ones, and I have seen you. I've traveled to your homes or met someone else, somewhere, I mean, somewhere else, if it's not the home, and have built friendships this way, unending friendships. So what is your style? What is your voice? And what is your message? What does not want to stay inside anymore? What wants to come out? Bring it out. That's the biggest invitation for you today. And show it all. Show your tears. Show your laughter. Yeah, and uh, I don't walk like everyone else. It did not keep me back from going, stepping on a stage. So for everyone to see. I'm dyslexic. I don't care about how I write anymore, but it, it's okay. Because I believe we are now in a world with less and less judgment where everyone is starting to look to be themselves, become softer, structures are falling down. And we're also in energies where it's needed, really, really strongly needed for you, for me, for all of us, to step into our power, to empower ourselves to be uniquely us, in our style, to bring through our principles why we are here on this earth, because others are looking for us to follow, to be inspired. And the most important when I say follow and inspired is that they can say, if she can do it and she is doing it, then I can do it and I'm gonna do it. And I find ways. Well, it's really all that I'm about. <laughs> it's all like, it's ooh. But in the same time, it's, it's, it's very fine, very simple. And again, you're this magical being, beautiful from the inside out. Everyone can read it. Just ask animals how they interact with you, the plants. And they're all there to support you, to move forward, to bring out the creative you in every moment. So that you feel comfortable and unfeathered if someone else says something, it just flies right through. If they're still a little bit in judgment. It's time for us to remove our own judgment of ourselves, to play with all your talents, your many facets. Find your own rhythm, the rhythm that moves you forward steadily. Others will adapt to your rhythm. And bring out what is so beautifully within you and that you only you have. That I'm curious to see. So let me know. You can write me. Smilingelki.com Or if you put info at my email. Because this has moved me since a little girl, sitting somewhere and observing people and saying, what makes them move forward? What makes them tick? Why do they wake up? What are their visions? Mm. 
And I'm here to support you in creating this unending moment for you. Also, if you like it, what I spoke about now, I'll go even more into depth about these topics that we hinted on. in the longer workshop on this summit. I see you. Be you. This is my lead.